Hi, I'm Tracy Morris. I'm coming to you today from my studio in McLean, Virginia. One of the main questions I'm asked on a daily basis is, how do I select a color and a countertop for whether it's a kitchen or a bathroom? This one should be a no-brainer. Now we're here in my kitchen. Our main purpose was to bring as much natural light into this space as possible. In order for me to do that, I chose all light materials. We do have a bit of contrast. So for example, our island is a bit deeper than the rest of the cabinetry. And we also have a bit of dark banding around our refrigerator and oven areas. This was to differentiate the spaces. So that is more of the cooking zone and then the rest of the kitchen is a bit more open. Our process begins with cabinets, then our countertops, then our backsplash. So again, you always wanna start with what do you want your cabinet color to be? Pick something that is always going to be timeless, that will last throughout the test of time. So we originally started with our cabinet color, which is a, a really nice warm off-white. The main reason we did this was because we needed as much natural light brought into this house as possible. I then selected the countertops. In this particular house, we did go with quartz. Reason being, I cook so much and I really, really wanted something that was fairly indestructible. Our final piece, which I think is really fun, is our backsplash. This backsplash is actually the shape of the corporate headquarters of the vendor of this tile. It was such a beautiful shape that I actually just selected it for the entire backsplash. The one thing that we did do a bit differently in this kitchen, we added a stripe of color, if you will, a contrast. This particular piece of limed oak was put on our cooking and refrigeration area in order to separate it from our neutral wall. With regard to bathrooms, it's a bit of the opposite. We love to have the floor be first or the main color in that room because the tile is going to be the personality of your bathroom, then cabinets, then we blend both with the countertops. We decided in this space that we were going to add this really beautiful Philip Jeffries wallpaper and it actually is a linen wallpaper and it has hand painted gold details on it. So the wallpaper complements this deep gray and then the solid surface countertop pulls the whole thing together by having a touch of white, a touch of deep gray, and a touch of light gray that is in the trim. So the countertop is the thing that pulls it all together. <laughs> 